Hi, Steve Cooper. Welcome to another Rank Success uh, short video. And today's video is to let you know that I have got in my car. I live in Devon, driven all the way up to uh, Hull in Humberside, and recently interviewed the Chief Constable of Humberside, Lee Freeman, uh, to bring back some leadership, some helpful, valuable leadership insights for officers going for promotion. Uh, those aspiring for promotion and perhaps uh, information of interest to those who are not going for promotion in relation to culture, in relation to um, uh, the support uh, for uh, Humberside's approach to mental health provision uh, by police and reducing that. Lots and lots of innovative um, practice, um, radical reforms that are going on there, all under the leadership of um, Lee Freeman, the Chief Constable. So as I say, I jumped in the car the other day, uh, drove up uh, to see him following the release of uh, the HMIC uh, FRS, so HMIC's Peel Inspection Report into Humberside, uh, which showed that they uh, achieved outstanding uh, performance in six out of the nine categories, including the culture. So I think in terms of leadership, uh, it was something that inspired me. I'm really interested in, in that kind of thing, and I first went up to the uh, emergency services show in, I think it was June, up in Birmingham, and I listened to the Deputy Chief Constable of Humberside talking, and he delivered a talk called a victim-focused um, approach to uh, performance management, and I wrote a blog uh, after that, and uh, the results of the appeal, he, he explained in that talk that they had been preparing uh, quite robustly for the HMIC inspections. Uh, and the results were embargoed at that time, but they've since been released. And uh, as I alluded to, you know, some of the highest scores um, that, that HMIC have ever awarded a force. Uh, and that reflects the leadership approach over the last five years since the Chief Constable was appointed in 2017, Lee Freeman. Uh, and at that time, the forces in special measures, they were bottom of 43 forces, and they're now at the top. So when I interviewed him, I had some questions I put to him. I will put the link to the blog that I've done below this uh, video and the link to the podcast with the interview in it for you to listen to if you want to. But I think it was just, um, it was really interesting for me. Uh, I'm really interested in those kind of turnarounds, if you like. So you'll notice I've talked before previously in my Reader's Corner, uh, recommending um, valuable leadership material for you to to read, to support, and to respectfully provoke your thinking as a promotion candidate around uh, leadership and performance. So on the turnaround theme, Bill Bratton's book, Turnaround, uh, is one of those books. Um, also, uh, Michael Abrasoff, Turn the Ship Around, uh, is an approach to turning a ship in the US Navy from the worst performing to the best performing. So I'm really interested in that kind of thing, which inspired me to, to um, ask the Chief Constable, would he be uh, happy to set aside some time for an interview um, and to see that you know his goal was to turn around Humberside Police when he was appointed as Chief Constable and clearly with the results recently released he's done that. One of the things I think that will be interesting to cops um, whether they're going for promotion or not is the repeated calls for health, um, mental ill health episodes you know the, the police being taxis or ambulance uh, and calls to um, you know um, concern for welfare that are not necessarily police um, responsibilities legally and so we covered that in the interview as well but I think interestingly uh, the innovative and open-minded approach and those going for promotion will probably notice that's one of the competencies for promotion under the competency and values framework the innovative and open-minded approach to that challenge that problem was grabbed hold of if you like in Humberside and they've managed to reduce you know the 80% calls for that over a period of time down to 31 percent ish something like that uh, which is effectively freed up about a thousand plus hours a month of officers time to be able to look at other initiatives such as you know the repeat calls to children's homes etc uh, and that was achieved through taking a robust um, uh, and supportive approach to uh, the health partnerships, the health partners, uh, and having supportive conversations 
but actually putting them on notice that police would no longer do that in 12 months time. So putting them on 12 months notice and saying in 12 months we will not be attending many of those calls. And to be fair it's quite inspiring when you look at the approach that was taken. They printed off 2,000 plus uh, incident reports, sat down with the health um, services and showed them those reports and they themselves reflected you know wow you know police shouldn't be attending this really did the police attend that we should be doing this so they've gone back and pushed a little bit and resulted in more uh, spending if you like by the health service uh, and uh, helping the police to kind of share some of that risk if you like and put back some of the uh, calls back to where they belong with the health uh, providers uh, and you know, as I say, it's quite an inspiring approach. Have a listen to the interview, uh, have a read of the blog that I've done. I'm just doing this video to bring your attention to it and to share some of the insights for you. Um, I found it really interesting. And of course, you know, all of it is to bring you meaningful leadership uh, and promotion tips and guidance and, and support. Uh, and if you want to take that further, if you want to just hit the ground running, uh, with some effective preparation for your promotion and we talk about promotion in the interview as well up in Humberside including whether you should have interviews or whether it should be on assessment so you know Chief Constable is very generous in giving his views on that uh, but if you want to download a, uh, a digital toolkit if you're thinking of promotion now or next year uh, and you want to hit the ground running you can go to ranksuccess.co.uk and download a digital toolkit bespoke for sergeant, PC to sergeant or bespoke for inspector or chief inspector so that's it really, just a quick uh, update video to say that that, that podcast uh, with the Chief Constable of Humberside, Lee Freeman, exists. The link is down below and there's a blog with it as well. And uh, I'll be back with another video in due course. Until then, take care and stay safe.